John Carpenter's Vampires is an interesting one to say the least. Now, granted, this may not be one of the best films that John Carpenter had directed, but it's still somewhat entertaining despite some of the flaws that it does have. You know, I had heard about this film actually just last year, so I checked it out during Halloween season. And I was somewhat impressed because I didn't know that John Carpenter had directed a vampire movie. So basically, the story of this one is that it follows a team of vampire hunters. And their leader is a guy named Jack Crow, And he has a personal vendetta against vampires because they had murdered his parents. But on one night, a powerful vampire named Jan Valak kills most of Jack's teammates. And so it's up to him and his friend Tony with their goal is to find Van and eliminate him. You know, in a lot of ways, with this being a vampire western, it's missing a lot of the spooky elements you'll typically find in a horror film. The soundtrack is trail rock music. The aesthetics of this doesn't scream scariness. And I'm guessing that's a good thing because John Carpenter, he took the vampire lore and made his own thing. But at the same time, this is also not one of the best vampire movies I've seen either. It's all right for what it is, but I really felt like if the plot was stronger, then this one probably would have been more memorable than what it actually turned out to be. Well, at least the acting isn't bad because the chemistry between James Woods and Daniel Baldwin is actually pretty good. I like how these two are comrades. They lost their whole team just because they didn't understand that this vampire master was coming after them. In fact, speaking of which, I thought the acting from Thomas Ian Griffin, it was okay. To be truthful, he's not a menacing antagonist. He shows up, he does his thing, but he never explains his reason fully. Like, he was just another paper-thin villain that just monologue. Now, I thought that Cheryl Lee, I'm not familiar with her filmography, I thought her acting was okay. To be truthful, Katrina was a character that was just a damsel in distress. She becomes a vampire, but there's nothing more to her character. But I think my main issue with this is that this don't feel scary enough, in my opinion. Like John Carpenter, he's known for directing a few horror movies throughout the years, such as the original Halloween, The Fog, Christine, and a few others. So this one is probably as dark as some of the material is. Does it feel haunting enough? I don't hate this film, but it definitely is a vampire movie that just don't stand out per se because I didn't hear about it for years. And after I finally did see it, I was saying to myself, you know, this one is decent. It's just not as great as it could have been. Plus, I don't know the source material, so that's also why I get a little bit lost here with the story because, well, it does its job of providing somewhat of entertaining action, but it's no real strong character development. At least Jack Crow is interesting, and, well, this bad assery taking on the vampires, that's what really saves this film. I guess it's the action Plus some of the story. Other than that, I don't think this movie's that great. It's alright for what it is, but I kind of wish it could have turned out to be a little bit better in my opinion. I'm giving this film a 6 out of 10. I will say that the first 20 minutes were strong, but after that, it kind of dips into mediocrity just a tad bit. Considering we got other better vampire movies out there, such as The Lost Boys, Fright Night, Abigail, Interview with a Vampire, and several others. At least it's entertaining for 108 minutes, but with a lack of strong character development and a better story, keeps this one from being truly great. And that's my review of Vampires. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. All right, this is Slum Guy 172 saying, Peace out.